it's windy around these parts it today, is, isn't it? it? Can it you is. hear it's blowing up a gale? Uh, hey, we have got, it's, it's blue my wig off. Uh, um, we, I'll just say, I've got to confess, my hairdresser's cut my hair, and I don't know why, it's like a bit, it's on a bit of a funny angle, and it looks like I've got a toupee on it, it's I slipped. would never have noticed it, unless you keep, unless you keep coming over me and going, look at me look. toupee, it's slipped. And I'm, I would never have noticed. Move it back a bit. Uh, right, <laughs> <laughs> this is, of course, day 13. I'll put another one on in the break. Uh, this is day 13, of course, of our, uh, of our birthday celebration, uh, which is amazing. We had such a incredibly busy... <laughs> Really Play your crafts right we this did. morning, didn't we? I did win. I'd just like to point that out twice. Um, but it was all. Everyone was a winner, though. Yeah, uh, it's an it's under contest. I have to say. <laughs> Form pads and form are all different. They are, they are. But I still won. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, we did have an incredibly busy launch. Oh my word, these have set the world on fire, haven't they? These um, embossing folders. People yeah. love them. I'm glad everyone loves them as much as we do because mm. we, we've really adored them, haven't we? Absolutely. And I, I've said without apology that this is my favourite folder launch of the decade. I'm going to say ever. And all of the time that we've been doing mm. things at Crafters Companion, it really is the most stunning collection that is going to stay in your stash and still be valid in 10 years' time. And I dare bet in 10 years' time I'm still going to be saying they're my favourite. Probably. Because they're so incredibly different to anything else you might have seen. And they make a significant impact, but they're incredibly easy to use. Mm, they are very, very easy and simple. So that's what this launch day is going to be all about for the next couple of hours. What we do, of course, have, though, is your daily free gift, which is this one. One. It's the Shadow Sentiment. Now, uh, we've given you another version of this as a free gift throughout this birthday event, so it's great you've got a second one of these as well. So you've got a bit of a collection mm. building there. Of course, you are still, all we need to get is £10 or $10 worth of products in your cart. We have still got, when you're spending 50 that amazing paper pad, which has a £10 voucher in there. And if you're spending 100 you'll get both of those and the two metallic markers, as, um, glitter markers as well, including in the crystal clear and in the purple, and you will get a voucher for 20 pounds off uh, to use through November and December as well. Right, the code is still live. So we believe now that it's too late to take it off. Okay. So it has to be, it's gone midday. It wouldn't be fair, it wouldn't be fair to now take it off, would it? No. I mean, I'm going to blame you. If they try and take it off, you're going to have to get it not taken off. Okay. I think that's marvellous. Make the most of it. That means we've had a Liam 12 cord for two days. 48 hours. <gasps> I should say... It was will, meant to be a 24-hour cord. There will definitely not be a code tomorrow. No. There is definitely no code tomorrow. Definitely not. 100% no code. As far as I'm aware, mm. I'm being told there is absolutely I no chance. Tell you You've no. taken the Michael already by having it for two days now. <laughs> there will be no code. It is your last opportunity uh, to use it. And the details are along the bottom of your screen. So all we have to do is put in Leanne uh, tw 12, <laughs> Leanne 12 uh, in at <laughs> checkout. And uh, you just need to make sure you've got £60 or dollars worth of uh, stuff in your basket. I was going to say, of qualifying spend, but any spend qualifies. So anything in the show or anything uh, throughout the entire time. Gemini Pro, if you fancy one. Yes, Save still a, a couple of those hanging around yep. at the moment. Maybe you're going to stock up on adhesives, card stocks, Now's all of those time. different things. Now's the time. Now is the time. And if you want to find all of that, of course, get yourself over to the website. That is where everything begins. Because crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu is where you need to add. Uh, hit the shop the day button. There you'll see absolutely everything we've got for you throughout the entirety of today. Because, of course, we have this amazing uh, two-hour launch day on these incredible new embossing folders. But we do have a craft fault myself and Leanne and we have got some absolute corkers uh, when it comes to savings and deals on collections that we know you're going to love so that's all coming up for you at 6 p.m. here in the UK one o'clock on the East Coast 10 a.m. West Coast but for these next two hours it is mostly about these these amazing folders Leanne saying potentially her favorite folders ever and you'll see why because they are just so incredibly bold, which is going to make them amazing. The deal is incredible. A couple of different ways of you getting these, which I'll go through in a second. You've got the Regal Rose, which is that one there. This one here, that is your pretty peony that you're looking at. Then we also have the lovely Lily, which is that one just there. This here, that is your enchanting echinacea. Then you also have the heavenly 
Helleborus. I struggle with that one, I don't know why. And finally, you've got the precious poinsettia in there as well. So they are the folders that you will get. A couple of different options for you. Details on your screen are for the six folders, and you will get a free pack of the primary aqua markers in there. So you'll get 12 aqua markers in there. Now they're worth £23 or $33. You're receiving them free of charge. Your platinum price here, $28.75 or $38.16. That is not the most popular way of getting hold of them, though, because when you go for our showstopper, you still get all six of the folders. You'll still get the primary aqua markers, but you will get the rest of the aqua marker collection as well. So that means you will get the nature. You will also get the floral and you will get the essentials, as well as the crystal clear sparkle pens, the clear overlay, you will get three of those. Now, the, the extra elements that you're getting in here comes to 105 pounds in the UK. However, if you are a platinum member, you're going to be using the Lian code. You can lose, use the Lian code wherever you are in Club Inspire, but if you are a platinum member, £69.70 or £83.78 today to get your hands on these, which is why I think we have been so exceptionally busy. We did know you'd love them, but the demand has been absolutely off the chart, and this is far and away your most popular way of getting hold of these at the moment. So if you want them, definitely snap them up. Now, a lot of you are chatting away already. Sarah Brown uh, is saying hi. Patty's in Washington. Rebecca's in Austin. Linda's here from, oh, where is Linda? She's in South Dakota. Uh, we've also got Linda in Minnesota, Minnesota. Jane's in the south of France. Wee oui, wee, oui, how delightful. Uh, Deborah is in Lancashire. Jill's in Yorkshire. Ex Psych is ex, ex Psych is in Florida. Uh, Tammy's in Dallas. Joanne's in Farmworth. Jeannie is with us as well in Massachusetts. Penny is here as well from Michigan. And Silke Schwobel is in from Germany as well. Hello to all of you, wherever you are, my little schmetterlings. Uh, we are going to have an amazing uh, couple of hours. It is already really busy again over on the website. You guys are loving this. I'm really worried that we're not going to have enough of the showstopper, though, to last, because it is exceptionally busy. There are no backup bundles today either it is just the two deals that we have and that is it a third of the stock of the showstopper deal has already gone and there are a lot of you already in the ordering process in this launch show this is the official launch so we're going to learn all the good techniques isn't that right leanne absolutely we're going to try our best to show you as many different ways as possible that you'll be able to use these when you get them home um, incredibly easy and such a massive impact what i've done is cut a piece of watercolor card to start i thought let's emboss one so you can see how to do that and how easy it is so i've cut a piece of watercolor card stock to five and a quarter inches square that's going to get popped into the folder the embossed side is the side that feels indented so to make that easy for you have the word gemini at the back Put in your watercolour card, just centralise it, close it up and it's ready to go through and that will do your deep emboss for you. Make up your sandwich, pop it through your machine. They also work, I showed you in um, Play Your Craft Right this morning how they work in the MIDI as well. Very simple and no change in result whatsoever because the MIDI is a fantastic machine. So use your electronic or use your manual machine, whichever you prefer. You will then get the most beautiful, deep, sculpted Amazing, isn't it? emboss with, the, with those folders. And if I turn that over, look at that. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. And I haven't had to moisten that card, spray it with anything, do anything to it at all. No. Dry piece of card stock, st card stock straight through, and that is the result you get. Now, you absolutely loved, and you've been contacting me on... Um, Facebook and on Instagram and saying we loved that first demonstration you did with the bright coloured um, Echinacea Leanne, please yep. can we see that again? Of course. And for those of you who are just joining us this time, I want to do this again because you might not have seen us do it this morning and play your craft rights. You might just be waking up. So what we're going to be looking at is how to achieve this kind of result um, with your folder using some watercolour techniques. This is the one that I did partly this morning. See, it looks slightly different, but still just as beautiful. It just changes up depending on how you I put the colour on I think just looking there. at that finished one again, I think you'd look at that maybe, a lot of crafters, I certainly would look at that and think, gosh, I don't think I'm capable of achieving that. When you see it all pulled together, you think, 
that is literally a 10 out of 10 wow demo but breaking it down i think the embossing folders are great because they do divide it into sections for you absolutely. don't it become so achievable then when you're just working elements absolutely absolutely joe and we'll have a look at that now so all you need is a piece of kitchen towel your paint brush a pot of clean water, nothing added to it at all, and then whatever your colouring medium of choice is. Now, um, I've used aqua markers for this. I'm going to use my ink pads for this one. And that's what I did this morning, so I thought it'd be a nice idea for you to see this. But remember, you can use your ink pad. And in fact, I'm going to use a mixture of both, ink pad and aqua marker. And then you'll be able to see that it works exactly the same. So this is my fuchsia ink pad that I'm popping onto my mat. I was going to add on my lemon tonic but actually what I'm going to do is just take the marigold aqua marker and pop that alongside so I'm using two different watercolor mediums and you'll see that they work together oh, okay. and that they work absolutely the same so whether you're using your ink pads you get in the small bundle you've already got things at home and you're using your ink pads or whether you're going for the big bundle and you're wanting to use all aqua marker for this demonstration you can do either and it will work perfectly and the result you'll get will be exactly the same so I'm putting a little bit of the plum jam down here as well which is the um, Harmony Water Reactive, but I could have used, if I wanted, my Burgundy Aqua Marker and used that one instead. So it's, awesome. it's entirely up to you. Now, the important thing you need to remember, and I'm just going to grab my heat gun, is that you're going to work on one small part of the flower at a time. And the reason for that is you, you don't want to overwet it. And if you have too many pieces beside each other wet they'll all start to bleed into each other and you lose your definition and it looks a bit like a, it looks a bit of a mess okay, so to avoid that we work on one area at a time so to keep control over where the ink's going to go the first thing you do is prime the area you're going to paint and that is simply taking a wet paint brush and moistening the area that you're going to paint and I'm doing that on this one petal of the echinacea here. So I'm just spreading the water around and making sure that I've got a little bit of a coverage, um, a little bit of coverage there. So that's moistened now, and that means it's ready to accept whatever colour I want to put on. So I'm going to start with my pink fuchsia. So with a damp brush, pick up your pink fuchsia and then just start to paint it in. And it goes on much more smoothly and blends so much more easily because I've already added some moisture to the card with that water. Uh, and we just paint it on jaw. This could not be any easier. And of course, you know, you, you do not need to be too precise with it. You don't need to be really worried about it being perfect. It's a watercolour look and feel painting. So I'm always it surprised at how the pigment goes so far, even when you're adding water to it. Yeah, it's the, I mean, with our aqua markers and with our ink pads, the amount of dye that we put in here is just really phenomenal. So you get fantastic value for money, but it's also the quality and the intensity of the dye colour as well. So you get a lot of payoff of colour for very little in terms of application. So we pop that on there and we drag it down as far as we'd like it to go. When you feel it's as intense as you would like it to be, we can then start to use a different colour. So on the previous one this morning, I started using my lemon tonic ink pad, but we decided, didn't we, that we were going to use aqua marker so I could show you how they, use, they work Brilliant. together. And you Great that either. the two play together as well. Absolutely. Um, and so we'll just do exactly what we were doing earlier. And we'll just paint that in. And they will blend together and make a new colour in the centre, exactly as the lemon tonic did this morning. And that's more of a golden tone that I've got there. So if I want to make that more of a vibrant yellow, what I can do is take my aqua marker, which is sunflower, add a little bit of that alongside, then pick up that and extend that colour down. And you see I start to get, they blend together beautifully and we start to get that real lovely transition of colour on the petal. And then what I do is I just run that colour further up the pink, which makes that transition less obvious. Bring a little bit down if you want, makes it feel Amazing. more natural. 
and then just smooth out your blends and leave if, it at that. With these, Leanne, if we wanted to remove colour, so you say like, mm -hmm. imagine if we'd done a flat cut piece of colouring, but we hadn't left a highlight in there. Mm -hmm. Are you able to, to remove colour and take colour away with these? Yes, you are. So what you're, what I'll do it on this next petal. So we'll just dry that one and then I'll do it on the next one. So before you move on from there, this is very important. You will either miss a petal, work on a petal, miss a petal, work on a petal. So you're not working on two adjacent to each other. Yep. That's when the moisture in the water will start to bleed into each other and it won't look as, as pretty. It'll start to muddy the lines and you won't get your definition. Or you can just get your heat gun out and give it a blast. Okay, doke. Easy peasy. So loads of love coming in for these. Uh, Holly Munch is in North Carolina. Hi, Holly. And in Bournemouth. Lisa is saying hi from very rainy Norfolk. It's a very rainy everything up here today. It's, it's very wet, isn't it, Leanne, in the North East? It has been for a couple of days now. Um, Claire loves my shirt. She says it looks so warm. Honestly, Claire, it is dead cosy. It's very, it's very strokeable, Joe. OK, so I'm just wetting this petal again. So I'm just adding some moisture. Remember, it, the card takes whatever colour I'm going to add to it. So much easier if you've already pre-moistened. So I've done that. Let's say I'm just doing my fuchsia again. Adding it on and we'll do the, you know, the dragging out as we had earlier and I'll fill in more than I wanted to. In fact, I'll fill in the whole petal practically. So I've got all of this here and it's more pink than I wanted to add. So I haven't left myself enough space to add in the yellow as I did on the previous petal. Okay, doke. So all I would do now then is with a very white brush, with a very wet, with a wet brush, clean brush, um, you add your water, extra water, on top where you would like your highlight to be. Leave it for a second because the water then, capillary action sucks the ink, sucks the dye from the card. Then you go in with your tissue, give it a dab. Ah, uh, yes. And it takes that colour back Perfect. for you so you can absolutely go in and take out if you've done too much color and if that's still not enough out you just wet your brush again make sure it's clean so you're going in with water only add a little bit of water leave it for a little bit longer you would leave it longer than i am live on a show because we don't want to stand here for two minutes watching that happen and then go in with your tissue and it'll just get lighter and lighter as you pick that up so yes you can absolutely do that joe so I'm just going to pick up a little bit more pink and intensify that up here. Uh, I need to let you know that the showstopper, the one where you're getting the full set of aqua markers and the clear overlay as well, as well as, of course, the six brand new embossing folders, is 40%, over 40% now, in fact, gone, with a lot of you uh, in the ordering process on the website. It is very, very busy. That's 40% of people that have, that's 40% that's not gone with people that have actually completed their purchase. So very busy on this, Leanne. I'm not surprised. It's it, a fabulous deal with all of those aqua markers in there. Phenomenal deal with your Leanne 12, even better. Um, it's almost too good to be true, to be honest. Yeah, um, 6970 or 8378 is a platinum member with that code today. Yeah, which is fantastic. And then when you see how easy these are to use, and truly these folders, these florals are always going to be around. They're not a trendy item or of the minute item. They're not a, something that you're seeing all over the social media channel. They're just a beautiful, useful set of folders in a very gorgeous design set that are going to be relevant now and relevant in 15 years time because when does a, when is a flower never going to be popular? Mm. So, you know, you're going to have these in your stash. I'm just deepening this shade up here now, Joe, a little bit with the plum jams, what I'm doing, adding a bit of depth in. And I can do that even when it's dry on the other one. So you see how that just makes the colour at the top just a tiny bit, just makes it darker. So the pink looks like it's coming down into dark. And then same on the other one. And when you're happy with the result and you want to stop, just blast it with your heat gun. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Lots of you loving this. Lots of people talking away in the comments. If you've got any questions specifically about this launch, uh, then do let me know. Um, can we do this technique with a shimmer ink pad? Scrap Paper Scissors wants to know. Yes. Excellent. Exactly the same as I'm doing. Uh, Janet says, I'm falling in love with these macro 3D folders. Leanne makes everything so beautiful. Diane says, so interesting to watch Leanne do her thing. And Tess says, simply stunning. Imagine these with the shimmer pads, absolutely. Oh, yeah, they'll look amazing. They'll absolutely look amazing. Okay, so we're just going to... 
add a little bit more fusion so now to do the center at the top and have it look like it's shining or like the lights light hitting it i thought we'd have a quick look at how to do that so uh, exactly as we did for the petals we'll just pre-prepare the cardstock to re to receive color and that's just adding some clear water on there which there we go that's done it's enough you don't need loads you just need it to be ready to receive and then take your colour and add that and what we're going to do is go from the left to the right around the bottom and we're not going to put any colour in this area at the top so and if you want to prevent yourself from doing that you can always map it out by saying that's where my shine is going to be perfect and then that's the area that you miss out when you're adding your colour so you can just build it up around the rest you're just getting your colour down now i'm doing this a little bit quicker than i would it blends so evenly oh, doesn't very, it very 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 evenly and easily as well really really beautiful and uh wendy says new tricolor alcohol markers are so fun to use with these folders i bet they are and lynn's mesmerized watching this uh, glad i got my order in early uh jackie says i love these folders and love watching leanne creating as well so you see what I've done there is I've spread it out and I've left it to get lighter as it's moving up to that highlight. If I wanted a little bit lighter here, we've just looked at how to do that, haven't we, earlier. So add in a little bit of water and just do some dabbing. And that's what kind of dilutes that up to that little area that I'm keeping, preserving as my area where the light's shining. And then what I'll do is deepen it. So I'll just use some more of the pink, go around the bottom here and round the sides just building up the layers of color so you're starting off with a little bit and then building up more on top of each other you don't need to worry about it being perfect first time tiny bit of water on your brush pick up your color build it around and then when you've got that on there clean your brush and use that to drag the color up and that blends and it doesn't then take away all of that light that you're preserving in the inside with a clean brush but it does smooth it out and blend it for you if you want to intensify that a little bit, have it a bit darker, I'm going to pick up a bit of this burgundy plum jam colour and then I'm going to just lightly bring that in around the outsides. And then exactly as I did before, clean my brush and just use that to blend that colour out, leaving that little bit in the centre unaffected. So it cute, isn't it? Shine. It's lovely, isn't it? And then when you are happy enough and you want to leave it and you think you've done enough shade and you think you've built up enough colour but you don't want to affect that highlight that you've kept, you just do a quick little, with a wet brush without the colour on, you do a quick little over the top. Perfect. And what that does is have a little bit of colour there, but it doesn't take that shine away. And so you've still got the shine on the top of the flower piece there. And you just keep building it up. And I think what you can see then is, it depends on how you're feeling. So this one actually looks different to the one I did this morning. Same colours. Mm. I was obviously feeling... Same colour. Same colour. Exactly the same colours. I was obviously feeling a little bit more dark and moody this morning. I'm feeling a bit Quite more light. clearly. Feeling a little bit more air, light and airy now. And the thing is, the three... The finished one, the one I've just done now, and the one I did this morning, very different. So mm. it just depends on how you, how much colour you want to build up. And just by continuing to build the colour here, it would end up looking like this. Or I might want to have it nice and pale like that. The choice is entirely yours, Joe. And um, exactly, that's the thing. I mean, and you could stay true to nature. You could go a bit abstract with them if you wanted to. You could use metallic inks if you wanted to. There are so many different ways in which you're going to be able to use them. And that's a great. I think it's all down to your interpretation, isn't it? It is. Um, and you'll continue. Now, there was a lady on... Um, I'm just going to clean this ink away so I don't make a mess. Uh, there was a lady on, on my Facebook um page when I was saying how excited I was about these said I really want to know how you get those 3d borders right and you know it's just matting and layering matting and layering matting and layering and I think what the what that lady and I can't remember your name I'm so sorry I will go back at my Facebook page and look means this kind of 3d right. look around the flower to make it pop from the bottom so I thought I'll just tell you that very quickly so I've got a base card which is seven by seven and then here we've got a piece of pink card which has a tiny black Matte and layer. So, how big would you, how much larger would you cut that base layer? A quarter of an a inch. A quarter of an inch smaller. bigger. So it's tiny. Yes, yeah. it's tiny. 
flies eyelash. Um, and then I've gone the same with the small piece here. So there you go, a piece of white card, which has been, again, matted knit, this time with a piece of silver mirror card. And you can see it leaves a tiny piece. And honestly, at home, I'd be, I wouldn't be that generous. I'd be gutting that out yeah. using a square for later. But there we go. So that would get glued on top of there. And then you've got a square of black card stock, which your topper then goes on. And when that's all laid up, that's how you make it 3D pop out from the card and you can lift it with a foam pad if you want to or some glue gel so that's how you get that result and you get that result with your harmony water reactive or your aqua markers that come in the bundle both work exactly the same you see me use them together there in that demonstration Absolutely and you're going to be able to do that Joe, within 30 minutes of getting them home you'll yeah. be achieving that yeah absolutely and remember if you need more hints and tips and techniques make sure you join Liam for calling me happy that's tomorrow at 11 a.m. here in the UK which is 6 a.m. East Coast uh, and you can go back and watch any of the previous calling me happy shows but anytime you like as well which is excellent so make sure you go do that let me also share with you these then so you've got the regal rose which is that one here we then have pretty peony you've got the lovely lily that one there is your enchanting echinacea We've also got the Heavenly Helleborus and then the Precious Poinsettia as well. So this deal there on your screen will get you the six brand new folders and also the 12 aqua markers which are coming in the primary, uh, which are these ones just here. Let me bring those in so you can have a look at those. So you'll get the primary there in that. 35.94 is your price if you're in the UK. 47.70 if you're in the US. Now. What we also have for you is uh, the showstopper. Now, in the showstopper, you'll get the primary, of course, which is those ones there, but you'll also get the rest of them as well. So you'll get the nature, you'll also get the floral and the essentials, and you'll also then receive as well these, which are your clear overlay, which will be perfect for using with this brand new launch. The colouring mediums in there, the aqua markers and the clear overlay, it's £105 worth of value that you've got in there. However, you can see you're not paying anywhere near that for that and the folders as well. 79.20 or 95.20. However, remember you've got that code, haven't you? Leanne 12. Make sure you're using that at checkout. We're going to give you an extra 12% off. That means today 69.70 if you're a platinum member in the UK or 83.78 if you're a platinum member in the US. And that is to get £140 or $198 worth of product. So the deal is absolutely phenomenal, however you look at it. Whether you're going for this larger showstopper, of which I should say now 45% of that has gone. It is really busy. There's a lot of you ordering as well at the moment. Or you're going for the smaller bundle, or you want to go for the individuals. It's completely up to you. There are options on absolutely everything for you over on the website. Now, later, we have, of course, our craft fold coming up some amazing deals on some incredible um, some incredible collections that you guys have absolutely loved this first one here this is your sunflower so you're going to get the luxury linen cardstock in here it's beautiful such lovely color tones and then we also have lots of other goodies in here for you as well so this one here that is your hello sunshine you've got the sentiment cut with the sunshine there and then you've got all the stamps which means you can curate your own sentiment around that this one here is fabulous friend and um, what you've got in here of course is that nice big frame die and then the stamps that go around that you've got fabulous friend included you could pop some of your own sentiments in there as well this one is your striking sunflower it's going to work brilliantly on foam or on paper brilliant just to have those extra foliage dies this here is your sunflower splendor lovely big creative card you've got the outside edge removed so you can cut that in or you can cut it out and you can also snip elements of these out and layer them up maybe even different colored cardstock it would look gorgeous then you also have the sunflower bouquet which is that wonderful layering stamp brilliant for those of you that love your quick drying pads and you've got the thank you so much um, sentiment within there and then finally you've got this awesome embossing fold I love it because it's kind of um, studded the embossing folder it's it's got all these little sort of um, studs on it. I was trying to think of a different word. There is a specific word for that, but I can't think of it. Now, you also then get the two stencils which overlay, so you can really pinpoint the colours that you want to use and pop onto there. Really beautiful. Uh, and again, coming included for you, sumptuous sunflowers you are looking at there. Now, you're saving 36.97 or 45.97 on that, and you'll be seeing that in our later 
uh, craft vault show. So don't go anywhere. And also remember, get this in a basket with some other bits and bobs that are over uh, 60 pounds or $60. You are going to get 12% off of that as well, as you will with the next item I'm about to show you as well. This is your, so if you went for the paper taker and would it get you there? Nearly get you there, wouldn't it? It would get you there, indeedy, and you'd get 12% off of both then. So the paper takers are brilliant. Um, they are really strong and tough, and I think that's what you guys love about Totally Tiffany is the quality that you've got. You've got the hook and loop on the front of the head to keep everything nice and secure. You've also got, as well, I should say, uh, a hard case as well, a hard... Um, case on the inside of there and that's brilliant because it's going to ensure that this bag keeps its shape there's five 12 by 12 pads in there absolutely no problem getting the nice handle these will store in the lowest tote for you too the other brilliant thing about this and i think what the paper takers are great for is you know your 12 by 12 pads store quite nicely but it's when you've got individual sheets left over and you think what do you do with them because you're not going to store a whole pad for a handful of sheets so you can actually pop them out now put them into these sleeves so you're going to get the sleeves the tab divider pockets included and that's a great way to organize any of your individual papers that you've got so it'll keep them looking nice and pristine it's going to keep them totally flat for you too 16.99 or 18.99 it's one of the most popular items on that later uh, craft vault show so do go ahead if you're hitting the shop the day button on the website you're going to be able to see absolutely everything that's in this show and in the later show as well but we must go back to the showstopper. It is very, very busy on this at the moment. You are getting f 20, uh, 48 pens in here, of course, the three clear overlay markers, and also you are getting the clear sparkle pens too, uh, and the six embossing folders, of course. You'll get the primaries, which you can see there on the display, as well as, of course, the nature, the floral, and the essentials, and you'll also get the clear overlays too and remember you're going to pay 69.70 or 83.78 as platinum members because you've got that lian 12 code uh, which is still working over on the website so make sure you go and grab a hold of that very very busy again lian in this show what would you like to share with us next uh, i thought we'd have a look at coloring with alcohol marker joe um, because i know a number of you have said that you really like the idea of using the tricolour markers that we launched um, and I know a couple of you said oh my word I can't wait to see what they look like with um, my other alcohol markers that I've got so I thought let's have a look at how to do that so I've just embossed there onto a piece of Nina um, the Helleborus which is my absolute favourite flower of all time we have several we have loads in our garden I love them and I, the reason I love them is they're still flowering in December so they've always got a beautiful bell flower on there they're gorgeous so anyway um, I thought let's have a look at that so I've Delicious. embossed that onto Nina and then we're just going to colour it in uh, Joe so I'm going to start with um, my I've got magentas here so I've got MG 2 mg4 mg5 and i'm going to use the mg3 from the middle of a tri-blend amazing um, to fill in the gap because i couldn't find them mg3 pen so starting as we would always do with alcohol coloring the lightest color and again one petal at a time and preserve your highlight so this is the mg1 so i'm going in with the lightest color with my illustrator marker here and i'm just popping down color where I would like it to be and I'm going to decide where my preserved highlight will be so just stroking that colour on brushing it on with the brush nib um, and I'm going to leave the highlight in the centre of the petal and you don't need to worry about it being too precise straight away because all we're doing you hear me talk about this in Academy of Colour all the time is creating a map for where our colour is going to go so I'm going to have the centre of my petal is going to be lighter so I've got my colour on there that's my first colour so then I'm going to take my second colour, which will be MG2. And then I start to build up my shade. So once I've got that in place, I can then go to my darker or darkest colour and start blending that out. And that's going to be my MG5. So I come to my MG5, stroke this colour on, and then I'll start working back. And the reason we work on one petal at a time is alcohol markers do dry much more quickly than watercolour. You need to get your heat gun on watercolour with your alcohol markers. Uh, the alcohol evaporates and then it will stop blending. So once you've got your colour in, that's the MG5, get to your MG4 and blend out the MG5 into the base layer. 
and you're going to come round into the center leaving that preserved highlight in there which will get smaller and smaller as we go around and then eventually we'll just have that lovely little light area in the center which gives the light on the petal um, and you can it's mesmerizing watching you do this i notice you put the caps back on every time you use these Always. Leanne. is that best practice would you not leave them uncovered for you know an hour whilst you're doing a project never. okay never ever 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 never um, alcohol evaporates and that cap is got the perfect click and seal which means that um, it's preserving it's keeping it sealed so that the alcohol can't evaporate and you can't lose any of that gorgeous ink in there so yes i never ever do so now i'm on to mg2 joe you see i'm blending that as i go how it's bling, bringing it out oh. and then i've got my mg1 which Sorry, I was just having one. a little stretch there, Leanne. I didn't realise involuntarily I let out a ooh as I came back up. Did so you? sorry about that. That's, That's all right. That was. Don't you worry. So uh, that is that petal done. Um, and if I want to go in and trace round to get that darker in into the little areas, so you can see I'm going in now. I'm, what I'm doing here with the fine tip on my illustrator, the very fine bullet, with the darkest colour, I'm going in and I'm tracing up to that petal below which takes away any of the rough edge that was there and gives me a lovely neat edge for that petal makes it nice and neat and precise with that lovely fine bullet and I can trace around where the emboss is fill up any areas that are still white before I move on to the next petal and that gives me that lovely crisp outline to that so one that would be there. the darkest part of your project would it this is the darkest part of the project and I'm doing the same here and all I'm doing is letting the nib of the pen follow where the embossed line is. So you can see where the brush nib where I didn't quite get the colour. But then it fills that in and it just outlines it and makes it very crisp. And at that point I'm ready to move on to the next petal. So I just follow the exact same process again. Start with the lightest. Pick the next petal along. So I'm going to use um, MG1 again. I'll do one more petal for you. Let's do this one beside it. So I'll go MG1. Make a plan, decide where it's going to be the lightest. I'm going to have my light at the top. Bring the colour round. And come right up to where you were, because they're going to blend into each other. Uh, Sarah Upton says, great value. The pens are awesome. They really are. I know so many of you have got those already. Uh, Tim says, just want to put a shout out, please, to all the amazing, talented individuals in the warehouse, back of house, and all the presenters on CTV. Can't live without you guys for the inspiration you give us. Well, you're more than welcome, Tim. That's really kind and lovely, isn't it? So lovely. It is. So I'm doing exactly the same now as I did earlier. Just making a plan, not worrying about it being too neat. I think sometimes when you're colouring with your alcohol colouring, you worry about um, it looking perfect immediately. And you really don't need to. You're just making a plan. So then you're going to go to your MG4 and you're going to bring that colour out into the centre. It'll blend into that initial colour. Preserving my highlight in the centre. Move to the next one, which is MG3. Blend that. Keep preserving your highlight, which leaves you a little area that isn't coloured. And then MG2 is the final one. Don't worry about this. I'm going to come back and deal with this in a second. Okay. So you just leave that little area white in the centre that catches the light. And then we can go back and put in the shade and really deepen it up. And that's when I go and take my bullet nib from the darkest shade... And at this point, go and trace that petal. Do you get to a point where you can't put any more ink down when you're using you pens do with like alcohol. this alcohol. Yes, and that's when you bring in your colour blend pencils. Right. So it'll get to a point where it's as intense of a colour as it's going to be. Um, and that's when you would stop trying to put alcohol on because they'll just bleach each other out and you would start with your colour blend pencils. Now, you see, what's done here is by tracing against the line of the emboss with that fine nib, I can see where my colouring didn't quite extend out as far enough right. on that petal. So all I do is then take my brush nib, go up to that and bring it back into the centre, the colouring, and go to the next colour, which was uh, MG4. And just do the whole thing again and it smooths it out and brings that blend in to the rest of the petal and you would never know that you'd gone back and corrected that because you got your map, you got your map down in the first place and then you went back in with your alcohol markers preserved your highlight and built it up uh, mg3 next there we go built it up 
and blended it out into that preserved highlight in the center and then you're good to go so very very easy to do joe incredibly easy to do and when you build that up uh, one petal at a time this is what you'll get delightful isn't it absolutely stunning now to do the background just to show it tell you how i've done that i did that with illustrators as well um so i don't want to obviously do the full flower because i want to show you lots of techniques today but i'll just show you a portion of the background and all i did was exactly as i've done with the petals so this is my lightest color cr2 i needed cr1 cr1 if i picked the oh, cr4 honestly you'd think i had my glasses on joe cr1 hmm. here we go so CR1 in the background, and you're just going up to your petal, and you're pushing up against the embossed line. Your brush nib finds its way. Colour that in with your CR1. You could use your chisel nib, actually, on your classiques if you've got them. That would get the colour down nice and quickly and smoothly for you. Smooth that out. So you want a nice saturation of the colour. Uh, where you can see lines, that's where your card isn't dyed consistently so that's why you keep going over because then you get an even saturation of color on cardstock and actually to do the background you're probably going to be better with a chisel nib on your classique to be fair but it's up to you it depends what markers you've got at home and in fact actually you could use your harmony water reactive to blend this background if you wanted and then you would use the darker which in my case here is cr4 just trace around the outside of the petal this is a little bit like putting the gray outline around when you do that then i've got cr2 here cr2 is just going to blend that back out into the first level of cr1 that i've got and that's going to make your flower pop out once that alcohol ink has dried down and it's gone nice and flat so that's what we've done to create that and then finally over the center here when the center's been colored nice and dark and if i just show you that quickly in here actually so um you could just do that solid color, color on the center piece there that looks like that's something stuck on there that looks like it's some piece of mm -hmm. a, um i don't even know how you'd even go about it but it looks like something attached to it it doesn't does it? and it's coloring so i'm just going to color one little bit and show you how we've done that because again i know i've got quite a bit you know i want to show you some different things that's incredible um it's a Sorry, I just came over to look at your flower. <laughs> <laughs> You've just, I, wonder, I thought, I just heard that's incredible. It was right in my eye here, and I didn't see you coming across the studio, Joe. Isn't it beautiful? It's amazing. Uh, we'll it get really nice and is. close on it in a second so everyone can see. So I'm just going to do that. It looks that. like a piece of resin's been stuck to it. That's what it looks like it from does, here on the it? camera. And it's the depth of the 3D emboss that does that. So you can see what I've done is I've just coloured them in with that deep marker. And then all you've got to do is either use your gilding wax or you can use our um, paint markers you know the metallic paint markers so i'm just gonna pop, oh, come on out of the package and you there we are oh this one's not primed just prime it sorry joe come on here it is right okay so the metallic paint marker primed and then on the little dots of the 3d emboss just go over them amazing so you can do that and that's what makes them pop out like that now awesome. if you if you don't have the metallic markers this was done with the metallic marker because you could see you can you can with your fine line you can go and trace the lines of the stamen as well with that metallic pen so that makes it look like it's 3d on top and that's the embossing that does that and you're just tracing over the embossing how easy that looks see that there that's all we've done all the way around on there to make that look like that you could just get a rub of your gilding wax and do that if you wanted to the reason i don't like to do that with gilding wax sometimes you get your finger in the way and then you've ruined right. your coloring which is why mm. i like to go in with the very fine gold marker and trace it in because i can be very very precise with that um you can see just by doing those two petals how i've managed to build that flower up in that way with that background with that little bit of gold in there and that's coming with the alcohol marker and i just think it looks absolutely exceptional joe and i wanted to show you um actually you know the watercolor echinacea that we did earlier that's the watercolor one this is one that i did using similar colors to that flower but colored in with alcohol so that's done with illustrator markers wow um, so that's you incredible can do it's 
beautiful and you see the, these colours are the same as these colours here the magentas and they work very well on both so whatever stunning. mediums you've got then really whatever from you've got pencils to ink pads to anything. aqua markers to alcohol markers anything, anything. is going to work with these whether Absolutely. you're going uh, realistic with them you're staying quite uh, natural with them or you're going to go abstract you've got the option to do all of that let me take you back through what you've got then so the regal rose these are the six brand new embossing folders for you the regal rose the pretty peony lovely lily enchanting echinacea that's the heavenly helleborus and then there's also the precious poinsettia they are the ones that you've got uh, just there uh, now the most far away the busiest option on these is to be getting them uh, as a showstopper I'll just take you through what you're going to get with that so the showstopper it gets you 48 of the aqua markers so you've got your primaries which are those ones there you'll also then get the nature that's the floral you'll get the essentials there and you'll also then receive as well uh, the clear overlay too so they are that's what you're getting in the showstopper the uh, coloring elements or the um you know the, the aqua markers and the clear overlay on their own they're worth 105 pounds buying a couple of pennies now you can see the price is less than that and you're getting all the coloring mediums and the six brand new embossing folders too 79 20 or 95 uh, 20 if you're a platinum member however you're spending over 60 pounds or 60 dollars here so it means that code leanne 12 you can use that meaning today if you're a platinum member in the uk you'd get this for 69.70 or 83.78 which is it's wild as far as i'm concerned how are we doing with the stock here johnny half the stock has gone now there is an awful lot of you with this in your basket at the moment if you want to get smaller configurations of this head over to the website you'll see them over there they're available individually as well this though is how you get the absolute best value i'm going to give you an opportunity to check out your basket so whilst you do that here's all the details of club inspire Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Pokey tools and paper pads, gilding, wax and stamping mats, scissors, glitter, builder blocks, faux snow fabric, rocker blocks, breeze misters, quilting clips, and diapers, tools, precision snips, finger daubers, acetate, stencils, glue guns, and templates. Gemini Pro, Julia and the OG. Gemini Go, Mini and the Midi. Triblend brush pens, aqua pens and aqua blends. Illustrators, classics and tri blends and color blends and glitter pens and sparkle pens, outliner pens. Fine tip glue applicators, envelopers, creators, stamping platforms, box of boards, a bit score and scoreboard. Nina card and craft card, glitter card, my flat card, craft kits, wadding and adhesive sheets, glass mats, guillotines and pen trays, ball tool dice and zinc trays, mitre tools and binding tools and tow bugs, USBs, bone folders and punches, low tap tape and brushes, stamens, mailboard, flower forming foam. Alpha markers, DVDs, felt with triton pads and CDs, gilding flakes and washi tape, tacky glue, red liner tape, craft pads, full press, sparkle pots, and churra pan and sticky dots, pigment ink pads, chunky glue, body bags, all purpose glue, embossing folders, blending tools, storage folders, much more too. Water, reactive ink pads, body bags, craft magnets, gear of craft and glue, stick, stick and spray and stick away, dotty tape and split pens, acrylic paint pens, tape pens, watercolor cards, rotary cutters, magazines and stamping cards, ultimate 
Scarecrow and the rotating design board of the first compendium. Sarah's signature collections and don't forget Discovery Kids. Oh, and there's foam pads, think that's it. One final thing, foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. Adam enjoyed being in that light green suit as mu much too much uh, for me. <laughs> He's wearing it for weeks back here. He was. Um, loads of fun uh, there. It's the, uh, for me, it's uh, our Nicola's facial expressions in that that are incredible. Don't forget the clocks uh, because the clocks are changing. We are going to set the clocks back an hour tonight which is amazing uh, because it means we get an extra hour in bed tomorrow which is delightful uh, because I've got quite an early start tomorrow as well Johnny won't because he's got children so that's a choice Johnny uh, <laughs> you made your bed you lay in it uh, so what it means is uh, <laughs> right that means that the show is going to get later by an hour for a couple of weeks uh, in America. So East Coast shows will be at 7am, 10am and 2pm. Uh, if you're on the West Coast, they'll be at 4am, 7am and 11am. We, we get an extra hour in bed tomorrow. You also get an extra hour in bed if you usually get up and watch our uh, earlier shows. So yeah, we'll be with you for an hour later. An hour later. Uh, and that will run for two weeks and then we'll all go back to normal again because your, your times will change, I believe. But then some of the states don't have um, daylight saving, do they? I know Arizona doesn't have daylight saving, so maybe it's going to stay like that now for six months. Who knows? Lots of you still chatting away in the comments. Uh, Mary Pat is absolutely stunning colouring. Um, Moe says, what a lovely idea for the stamens. They look so realistic. Chantel says, it looks like art. Beautiful. Put it in the Louvre, Leanne. That's what I say. Uh, not the Lou, the Louvre. Oh, uh, not the loo, the, the loo. We get we get this a lot. I think okay. it's maybe my. You can put it in your loo if you want to. We would stop you. Uh, Cindy says, Leanne, uh, these are just beautiful. Can't wait to play. Stephanie's saying the flower jumps off the page. I don't know which one seems to be jumping higher, but I'm sure it's the techniques that Leanne is using. Uh, Hannah Law, so happy that I ordered this set earlier today. And Stephanie says, I'm saving all of these shows today so I can review the techniques and try them out. That's a brilliant idea, Stephanie. You can do that with any of our shows over on the website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. Uh, that will, of course, um, be there forever for you to watch whenever you want, which is excellent. Any questions you've got, do keep getting them in. Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion over on YouTube. Of that showstopper, though, over half the stock has now gone. If you want it, you will have to be quick for it. What would you like to share with us next, then, Leanne? I want to show you a really quick and easy technique using one aqua marker and one ink pad. Brilliant. And you're going to get a really lovely floral one aqua marker, one ink pad. Isn't that lovely, Amazing. Do yeah, you go for it? Yeah, right, don't okay. you mind me. All right, okay. We're well, having a right. I know uh, the thing is, I feel like I might be shortchanging you all because I'm not doing a full card. I'm just showing you little bits. But I want well, to. It must show not you be true because even Charlotte piped up. What? Why? Why do you think that? That's I think very so. True. I think she, even Charlotte's enjoying herself today, which is marvellous. Um, okay, so I've got the purple aqua marker here, and I'm just for Johnny. Lots of squeaking. Onto the mat. There we go. The squeak. You um, That's what the kids call ASMR. What's that? Auto sensory meridian response. Is that right, Charlotte? Wow. Almost. What is it? Autonomous sensory meridian. Wow. Meridian response. Autonomous. Well, there you go. Autonomous. You learn something new every it's day. It's basically you know like noises that make you feel a certain way, like pop, popping bubble wrap would be uh, one of them. Ah, okay. Or the sound of, you know, painting with a roller, that noise it makes as it goes on. That's yeah. ASMR. I see. Well, you learn something new every day. You do, don't, don't you? Uh, so I've just got my purple aqua marker, and you see I primed my card. This is embossed onto watercolour card, and this is the peony. And I just uh, already primed that petal with the water, and I'm just painting it on. Okay. And all I'm wanting to do with this is really get some light and shade. And I'm not worrying about it being too precise as I was with the Echinacea. I can deepen this a little bit down here because the dramatic, the drama is going to come from adding the ink pad in a minute. So I've done that. And then what I'll do is I'll pick another petal elsewhere. 
and that's going to let that one dry a little bit while I go to the next one so let's pick this one so put a little bit of water down I'm just going to do half of the flour so that I can show you as much as I can and then go in with my ink see how it moves in the water just moves effortlessly uh, put that purple down and just worry about getting some dark lighter and darker areas where those are honestly don't really matter at this point point. and if you want to dry it with your heat gun you can so I'm going to get some darker area there and then just go on I mean you could you know really Joe if you wanted just absolutely go to town and spread this purple marker all over and not even worry about individual petals oh, if you really? didn't want to yeah and would you use a, like a, a thicker brush for that if you're going to do that you wider could. brush you could use a thicker brush if you wanted to i when i'm doing this up to the edge of petals i do like to use this brush i think it's the best and easiest way to do it all i'm worrying about is getting some light and dark areas in places on on the petals i'm just going to do half i think see how it goes um, and you're going to be able to do this yourself you know, it's it's not difficult. Um, well, look, it, you can see it isn't difficult because I'm not being careful at all. All I'm doing is getting water from my pot, not even worrying about cleaning my brush at this point, Joe, um, as you can see. Uh, getting the water down, picking up the purple, popping the colour. People say I'm being cheeky today. I don't know what that's in reference to. Oh. Uh, I'm not quite sure. It might be the ribbing that you give Charlotte constantly. I mean, it's 14, it's 14.56. I think I've been quite lovely today. It's nothing but sweetness. I'm nothing but sweetness and light every day. It's a fake Friday, Saturday birthday special, Liam. Really? Susie T says she's, I love it when you are cheeky, she says in the comments. Well, there you go. You are endearing, I have to say. You are endearing. Carleen says, hello fellow crafters. Hi Joe. Hi Leanne. I'm so happy the code is active today. Got vintage butterfly star buys as well as today's showstopper. She's put flamenco dancing lady emotions. Emotions? Emojis. emojis. Thank you, Charlotte. Uh, and fire emojis as well. How amazing. Now, so I'm just getting the colour on, Joe, and I'm not worrying. I'm really not worrying about it being amazingly precise at this point. I just want base colour. In this purple. This one's a peony you're using here. Peony. Is it? Uh, and peonies it. are quite uneven in colour, aren't they? They are. The petals are not one even colour a lot of the time. No. When you need some more purple, scribble it on your mat. And all you need to do is get some light areas and some dark areas. That's all. Stunning, isn't it? Mm hmm. And I'm going to go very dark in the centre. And I guess if you wanted to, if you were really not confident, Leanne, starting for the first time, you could just go over with this in a flat colour. I mean, as you said a minute ago, even with an ink pad, couldn't you? Yep, absolutely. Get a great, could. great result. It's going to look beautiful. And we're going to do one of those uh, in this two hours that we've got as well, just to show you how easy that is. So I want to go really dark in the centre here. And you know what? Even if you want to go darker, you can even just take your marker into the card if that's what you want to do. And then just remove the white areas. Paint it round. And get it to a point where, you know, you've removed as much of the white as you can and you're happy. And I'm going to just leave it there and do half the flour because you'll see you'll see what happens in a second. Now what I need to do is thoroughly dry it, Joe, which I'm going to do. Awesome. Really, really beautiful. Uh, I'm lost. I'm not going to get the showstopper, but the Leanne, um, then Leanne started the demo and they all fell into my basket. It happens all the time, doesn't it? And then they accidentally check themselves out as well. I get it. it happens to me a lot. Uh, Laurie says, Leanne, you are doing a wonderful job. We are learning so much when you're demonstrating. Very thankful. Uh, Lynn says, I'm learning so much from Leanne today. And Jules loves your tips. Leanne, they are fab, she goes on to say. If you've got Thank any you. questions about anything in this launch, you can drop them uh, into me. Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion, if you are over on YouTube. 
Okay. Now, you could just build up your peony like that and it's going to look lovely because, like you say, it gives that lovely light and dark. I'm not worried about where the shade goes. I'm just mm. whacking colour on, making it dark, making it light. It's going to look great. The thing that's going to really now make this stand out is using those embossed lines okay. with your dams and wine. So you're going to go with your ink pad a much darker colour of a similar tone you've used as the base. So we used our purple aquamarker and we're using our damson wine harmony water reactive and I'm just going to work on the top part of the flower and all I'm going to do make sure there's no water left you would want to make sure this is very dry is go and pick up the embossed lines with that ink pad and what that does is add in the texture and the definition it magically adds in shade of a similar colour. So that does your light and dark for you. And Joe, you can have never crafted before in your life. That is amazing, isn't it? You can literally never ever have crafted before in your life. And I know you can whack Aquamarker anywhere, not worrying about what the colour looks like. That's unbelievable. Get isn't a it? little round tool and blend in some and we can do this with lots of different colour combos can we Leanne? Yes you can do lots of different colour combos so you could do a yellow peony and use an orange um, ink pad over the top you could you uh, I mean go wild make them as fantasy as you would like them to be it's going to look absolutely beautiful and you see by putting that ink pad over now it's magically transformed what looked a bit of a mess let's not lie with that um aqua marker on the bottom there because i hadn't did you paid... did you wonder where it was going for a moment no or i knew, where, I, knew faith? Where, I knew where it was going but i knew that you and maybe people at home could be thinking that doesn't look very good i was maybe i wouldn't have voiced it but i thought she knows what she's doing it'll come right um, in you might have thought that looks a bit like a dog's breakfast because there was just color everywhere mm. wasn't it and there was light and shade it was a mess it was wet in some place light dark hadn't really bothered about how i'd done that but i knew by doing that and then coming over the top of it with this ink pad that was going to pick out all of those deep deep embossed areas that you've got with your 3d embossing folder and that was going to magically add in the light and shade in the dark and make that look like the most exquisite floral um, and it does doesn't it it looks watercolored just on the bit that we've done it looks watercolored it looks beautiful and you can see where that light and shades come from and then you would take your little gold marker as we had before and go over the center of your peony that's going to make them stand out and pop. Absolutely stunning. And I think if you saw and saw this finish, you'd never really know how it had been done, had you? You'd imagine you it had been a lot more intricate. Well, you would imagine that you'd difficult. use more than one pen and one ink pad. Yeah. Um, and you certainly wouldn't imagine that you'd just whacked on colour in any old fashion um, start, starting off there when, I mean, let's, you know, let's face it. And I was quite happy with the fact that it looked a mess. And now it doesn't because that ink pad has brought the whole thing together. And when you do the whole card. Amazing. That's what happens. Incredible, isn't one it? One pen, one ink pad and not worrying at all about what the watercoloured piece underneath looked like. It can look as messy as you want it to be. All you've got to do is whack colour on there, darken some places, lighten others. And it will magically transform for you into that right in front of your eyes absolutely stunning it really is incredible uh the way that it works and i guess leanne the reason we can do these kind of techniques this easily is down to the design in uh, partly down to the design in the embossing folder and how fabulous they absolutely. are because they've been designed to be colored haven't they you know yes. embossing folders are designed for different jobs these are designed for you to get these incredible results so easily and so simply that's why they are going so quickly on this saturday uh this one here is your regal rose the first one you've got you also have the pretty peony that one there is your lovely lily that's the enchanting echinacea this one here is the heavenly helleborus and you've got the precious poinsettia in there as well they are the six brand new designs that you are getting now the showstopper which is on your screen will also give you uh, a full collection of aqua markers so you've got your primary you'll also get the nature the floral and the essentials in there 
and you will get the clear overlay too. The colouring elements alone, so the aqua markers and also the clear overlay, they're worth £105, $160, which is excellent, excellent value for money because the whole thing is £99 or $119. Now, remember you've got the Liang code running at the moment, which means you'll get 12% off of everything when you spend over £60 or dollars. So Platinum members can pick this up today for uh, $69.70 or $83.78. Uh, that is your price to get absolutely all of that home. If you want to go for smaller bundles or individuals, everything is listed on the website for you, but this represents far and away the best value for money that we have on the show today with these brand new embossing folders. Um, loads of love uh, coming in. Handlaw says, whoa, I did not see that shading coming. Amazing. Sarah says, wow, that is amazing. Uh, Jean Janine says, I would have never thought it would turn out that way. Thank you for giving us the confidence to colour and play. Lynn Cherry Sitman says that's amazing. Eve says that is such a wonderful technique. Michelle says dog's breakfast, lol. <laughs> uh, Susan says this looks amazing. Can't wait to watch it back and craft along. Uh, who would have thought that it would turn out so exceptional, says Michelle. Patricia says, holy smokes, amazing. Uh, Janine absolutely loved it. And Claire D says the showstoppers are amazing deals. They really, really are. Let me uh, bring something else in, which is an incredible deal for you as well. One of our star buys for the day, 50 extra bonus points. It is our scratch and reveal kits. Now these are brilliant. Let me firstly show you the stamps that you've got in this. The stamps are incredible. I mean, it's worth it just for the stamps alone. So these are brilliant because what you're then able to do with these is pop these onto your card. So you've got something for literally everything in here. These go behind the scratch reveal panel. So what you're able to do is take a coin or a key. You're going to be able to scratch those elements off. What you're also getting in here as well is cards and envelopes. You're also getting 12 sheets of pattern paper and 12 sheets of coloured cardstock in there too. Let me show you how they work and what they go together like. Maybe it's you're going on holiday with someone, maybe you're engaged, getting engaged, maybe it's a um, you know, gender reveal or something like that. You've got the panel in here so you can stamp whatever you want underneath, you can hand write something underneath but then you're able to put the panel over the top as well which I think is brilliant. I love that one. This one here is a save the date but the date is under the scratch panel. I think it's really really cool. Uh, and then we also have this one just here. Uh, and again, you've got something in there. The, uh, what does it say? This surprise is better than Prosecco. And then scratch here. So really, really cool. This is my favourite one. Let me show you this because uh, you've got this one here. So you could be going off on a holiday and surprising someone. Uh, join me on an adventure, scratch to reveal where. How cool is that? Uh, a weekend in Carlisle, apparently. I would not be... <laughs> Absolutely uh, beautiful, really, really cool. So um, let me just pop those to one side. Um, now if you want to get hold of that, of course, 23.97, 29.85, brilliant saving on there for you. And 50 bonus points as well as double points as well. Right, over half the stock of the showstopper has gone. And that is people that have checked out their baskets. That's confirmed orders. So very, very busy. We're going to go back to Le Leanne for even more uh, inspiration. So I wanted to show you, we're going to have a look at a couple of things now. Um, a couple of you said, what if I have, what if I don't want to do a square card, Leanne? What if I like five by seven or six by four cards? So I thought, well, look, let's look at a smaller piece of cardstock in the folder. So you see here, I've got a small piece of watercolour card and I've got my Helleborus folder. And what I've done is just position it to the left hand side. Okay, so I'm not embossing the full flower and I'm going to whiz that through my machine. Amazing. Uh, and these, of course, will work through your MIDI, we said, didn't yes. we? Any of your electric machines? Any. Uh, machine not going to go for your mini the others, of course, because it's a little on the small side. Um, but brilliant for all of those. Just getting busier and busier and busier uh, in here at the moment, Leanne, which is no surprise, really. It is not. Do not miss out on them because they are going very, very quickly. Remember, we've got a best folders, best folders for 10 years at least. Is there one in mind that you've got from the very early days, which is... I can't think of one I've ever liked as much. Right, So I'm saying are. 10 years because I'm sure if I looked back 10 years, I would find one. Yes. But, but honestly, 
I can say I have never loved a range of embossing folders as much as I love these. And I think that's because you can be as elaborate with them or as, I mean, you couldn't get more simple than that that we've just done, or as simple with them as you like, and they're going to look exquisite. So I've embossed the same folder there twice. Brilliant. We're going to do the same technique, but look here, I've just got part of the folder embossed here for a rectangle, and that would frame up nicely on a five by seven or six by four card. Nice. It's part of the folder. So you don't have to work with the full square if you don't want to. I've then got my Harmony Water Reactive and my blending tools, and we'll do it on this we might not even do the big one, we might just do it on the small one. I'm going to blend on the ink, and I think this shows what you were saying. It's watercolour card I'm working with, is you can just, if you've not um, been brave enough to try different colouring techniques as yet, and you do just want to try something very simple, just working, blending your ink onto them in one colour family will look absolutely beautiful. That's incredible, And isn't it? it's very, very simple to do. And that's because of the level and detail of emboss. It really does stand out. So that's the palest colour. Um, and then I'll move on to one which is a little bit, little bit deeper in colour. We'll blend that on. And you can go um, as light or as dark with this if you like. We're going to get a similar effect to the watercolour one we've just done. But the watercolour one obviously had that kind of interference water look in the background of an, of an artist feel, if that makes sense. Whereas this is just blending ink on, um, letting the highs and lows of the card do the work the, where it's been embossed, adding in the colour in depth where we want it, leaving it light in some areas where we want it. Just getting the, you know, I'm really not being careful or planned at all, to be fair, Joe. I'm just whacking the colour down. It looks absolutely lovely. And how does it get that preserved? How does it keep the highlight there? It's so clever, isn't it? Do you know how? It's the depth of the emboss. So right. that is literally, this is so high that when I'm, the emboss is so deep that when I'm rubbing my folder over, it isn't getting in there. It doesn't go deep it. into so the creates, background of the car. It's yeah. very clever. So it just creates it naturally for you which is, you know, that's the quality of the folder and the depth of the emboss that you're going to get. Mm. And then I'm going back to my Damson Wine, which is the one we used earlier. And that's the one where I'm just going to now tickle it over the top. And you see, by not pushing the colour, as you said, into any of those areas, it keeps the white outline for you, builds up the depth where you want to build the depth, and I want it a little bit darker in the centre. So if I push it more, it'll cover in that more, but then it pops out. Um, and then I can just build up that colour uh, makes it very easy. And if I want to add a little bit of interest in there with another colour, I could, for example, bring in my pink fuchsia one now. Let's get my little bit of foam for that. And if I wanted to add in just a little bit of interest in the colour in some different areas for the flower, I can lay that over the top. There we go. Um, and then if I want to add a vignette on there, I can go and get my a vignette, a vignette. Um, which is just a frame, an inky frame. Put the lids on, the right ink pads, Leanne. I'm uh, going with my Twilight now, single favourite ink pad in the Harmony range. And a vignette. Gonna... And that's just going round, adding a deeper border around the outside and a complementary colour. Absolutely glorious, isn't it? And the blue works so, so well with that. Uh, look how it pops right out. I love the white outline as well, says uh, Susie. Carling says, oh my, Leanne, my mind is blown, says Carling. Um, and so that's how I did that full background. I've just used a little bit more ink with this one. I let the white do the work there. I've used a bit more intense ink, but it shows you how you can use part of the folder. And you can do that with any of those folders. Use part of the floral and do it for an oblong, a small, a six by four. Use your little small pieces that you've got left over if you want to. You can use your gold and add that in there. The texture I've got in the background here created by doing the water splash technique. So if you want to do that and you want this mottled effect in there for it to look more watercolour rather than flat, this is beautiful. But if you want to add some of that texture, you're just going to take your water and flick. It's amazing, it isn't it? A That's a piece of cardstock. You just wouldn't even know to look at it. Um, the longer you leave it, the more intense the result will be. Soak up the water. That's when you've got your light and shade in there. So now you've got that real watercolour look. Um, take your gold paint marker 
add in the little bits on there if you want to you can do that this is going to make a nice topper for a card and again partial so many of you were asking me you know what do i do if i don't want to make a square card what if i like oblong five by seven six by four quarter us that kind of thing well this is going to be what perfect. was the last five she said quarter us oh, i don't know that one uh, it's just um it's so it's different Eight and a half by eleven cardstock is a different size to A4, right. so a quarter US is the same as our A6, ah, but okay. it's a little bit shorter and fatter. All right, a bit like myself. Uh, well, like myself, you're in good company, me and you both, Joe. Um, and then what I would do is take my gilding wax, which we've also got on the show, just a little bit, and then just round the edge. Perfect, isn't it? And I guess you can do as little or as much as you like with it. Little I mean, it was beautiful after you'd put that single colour on, wasn't it, to begin yeah, with? Absolutely. But then you can just keep adding up just these techniques. Just keep adding new little bits in there, whatever you've got in your stash. And I mean, you could argue that I didn't need that little gold um, gilding wax edge on there, but you know what? It was there and I fancied it. And I might just do that and give a little bit of... Sh oh, I like that. See, now I've decided I like that, so I'm going to do more. So that's just going to give a little bit of a gold shimmer to the raised areas, just a tiny bit. I'm hardly touching it. So it's just picking up in little areas. Polish it off. And we're good to go. And Delightful. that gives you that lovely little shine on there, gives a bit of interest. You've got your watercolour, you've built it up with some ink pads, splashed some water on it, it's done. Frame That's it up amazing. and pop it on a card and it's how you use a smaller piece in one of those folders. Delightful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, lots of you getting these. I think it's just about making your mind up how you want to get your hands on these at the moment. So remember, here's the six designs that are brand new for you. You've got the Regal Rose. We also have that pretty peony. You've got the lovely Lily, Enchanting Echinacea there. That one's a Heavenly Helleborus or the Precious Poinsettia. They are the different ones that you have got there included um and remember this showstopper deal also then gets you uh all of these two you've got the primary in there you've got the nature the floral the essentials they are the 48 aqua markers that you're going to get and the clear overlay uh, the coloring mediums alone are worth 105 pounds the whole thing together you're looking at 140 pounds almost $200 worth of value. Platinum members today, when they use that code, Leanne12 at checkout, get this for 69.70 or 83.78. It's a tremendous, tremendous offer. It really is. 55% of the stock has gone. It is really busy still, though, over on the website. So we'll give you an opportunity to check out your basket. So whilst you do that, here's some of the fun stuff we like to get up to here at Crafters TV. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all have time with each other! <laughs> You're not free to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. I have to tell you, every single person works tirelessly uh, behind the scenes. And I can't just give a shout out to one person, because for me, it has to be John, Tracy and Jake. I'm going to give a shout out to our backstage hero, and I'm actually going to say heroes. It has got to be our product coordination team. 
it's got to be. Because without those three people, when we're on air, we wouldn't be able to function like we do. They make sure we have everything we need, right from um, the samples to the product to uh, having a drink of water throughout the show. They really look after us. You see us day in, day out, seven days a week, live on TV. We're crafting away. We're hopefully inspiring you. Every single card, every single product, every single tool that we touch has come from product coordination. Those guys are the unsung hero. They're there making sure we have the products, we have the inks, we have the tools, we have everything that we need. We have the power to actually work our Gemini ranges. The smooth running of behind the scenes of Crafters TV is all down to our product coordination team. celebrating our 17th birthday in style and we've got some show-stopping surprises in store for you there's double points for club inspire members every single day you'll also receive a different birthday surprise favor every day when you spend over 10. now you know we like to spoil you so we've got even more exclusive free gifts when you spend over 50 or 100. So many new launches and sensational special offers coming your way. You really won't want to miss out. So check out the Crafters Companion website to join the party. Ah, so much fun we had creating those. Now, remember, we've got a, I want to call it a craft, I want to call it a cart vault. Cart, <laughs> steady. Don't cheat yourself in there. Um, we have got a craft <laughs> vault. <laughs> Where is she? She's hiding. Where is she? She's hiding. What was that? Was, did that come out? Did, that, did people at home hear that? Was it just in my mind? <laughs> I think you might have heard it at home. Uh, she's not here till tomorrow. Now, don't worry. There is a craft vault coming up uh, a little bit later. Not a cart vault. That would be a craft that's a different one. Maybe that maybe will be a show. Who knows? But let me share with you some... I'll get to these deals in a moment. Let me share with you some of the amazing things, some of the best deals that we've got coming up. Now, remember, if you're getting the spend up to £60 or dollars, you'll be able to get 12% off of all of these as well. 34 96 or 45 80 Look, you're saving so much more than you're spending on a brilliant selection of our gnome collection there. We've got a modern edgeable collection. Oh... The rose one in here was so ridiculously popular when we launched this. You got 50% off there on those, so snap those up. The scratch and reveal, uh, the fold back gatefold die collection uh, here. Amazing, 27 dies in total in there. 39.90 out of 59.90. Again, another half price deal, but you can use your Club Inspire and your Leanne code as well when you're spending over 60. Oh, slimline, curved sentiment die. Uh, craft fault selection. Uh, these are brilliant. If you love the original ones of these, there were shorter ones. Uh, these are the Mahusive one. That's a buy one, get two free there in that collection. So make sure you grab those. We've also got some twist and pops for you too. Not to be confused with the bend and snap, but the value again is amazing there. Look, saving you £54 or $40, which is delightful we've also got some shaped waterfalls on the show again this is a buy one get three free a selection there saving you 75 pounds or 80 dollars on those ones just there uh, and we also have the build a bouquet uh, not mrs bucket uh, 12.99 uh, that's a buy one get four free uh, that's incredible absolutely incredible uh kate in california cindy said uh kate in california said that freaks joe out it did uh cindy says we heard it too and charlotte clark says we heard it here as well Therese says you're blowing her sorry charlotte you're right Oh, yeah, it is your fault, Charlotte. We were just saying we heard it. It's fine. Uh, Risa says, and Leanne says she, is a, she isn't an artist. I beg to disagree. Um, Leslie Toll says, uh, it was there and I fancied it. What I say every time I order. Oh, yeah. Uh, Linda Lalee <laughs> says, haven't seen the wax on the edges before. Great idea. Uh, and Fred says, Leanne, you are amazing. Thanks for these demos. Uh, Claire says, Joe, you are too funny. 
Thanks. Uh, right, uh, we're going to go back over to Leanne. I know Leanne's got more she wants to squeeze into this show. So many different things you can achieve with these, Leanne, isn't there? Absolutely. And I thought we'd go into just doing a nice little watercolour project with the lily. Um, and it's good. It's one of those ones where it's nothing different to what I've shown you, but it's a different flower. And that's one of the great things yep. because the techniques that you've seen will work on all of the flowers uh, that you've got. And I also wanted to show you watercolouring with your aqua markers, which come in that really fabulous big bundle. So I've got uh, rose pink. Just for Johnny. I always think they look different, don't they, on the mat than they do when you they put them do. down on your card. Crimson. I've got marigold. Nice. Oh, that's a different one. That was a different squeak. Oh, this one doesn't squeak. Isn't that this one doesn't squeak? Look at that silent. We don't trust that one. No. No. Um, I know they are all different, but those top three look the same to me on the mat. Very different. That's a good squeak. That's a good squeak. That, that is a good one. squeak. Okay. So um, I've got my towel, paper towel, kitchen roll, whatever you want to call it. I've got some clean water. Ta da And then we're just gonna we're just gonna paint the flower joke. Delightful. Um and I'm going to again I won't do a full one, I'll just do part of a one. I'm gonna turn this around and we're gonna do this bottom petal. So what I would do with this is I would, as before, prime. So that's just getting a little bit of water on there so it's ready to receive whatever I'm about to do. There we go, just on that bottom petal. And then I'm going to paint, we're just going to go with a nice little kind of light touch to the, um, to the colouring. So I'm going to start with my rose pink and just add in a little bit of colour down the centre. So once we've done that and traced it around here a little bit, then I will clean my brush and just bring that out. So that kind of does the natural shade, gives it a little bit of a depth down the centre, gives it that light colour that you want um, on a lily leaf, because you don't want it to be over coloured, you want it to be nice and pale, but it just spreads it out for you and it leaves it a little bit darker in the centre. So see how easy um, that was to do. Very, very simple. And then you would just move around the whole lily doing exactly the same thing. Very, very simple. Um, so we're going to do the next petal and so that gets some water on first, a little bit of the rose pink, go down the centre, clean your brush, dry it, use the colour to drag out and you've got a lovely, because up to now I've done very deep dark colouring haven't I, so I thought you know you might not like deep dark colouring, you might just like light colouring so I thought let's do something pastel um, and this just shows you how a tiny little bit of colour can really make these uh, petals pop it can you know make the florals look lovely it doesn't have to be all about the deep dramatic it can just be about um, the very light as well Leanne another Leanne's got a very serious question for okay. you okay um, are you a witch or maybe a magician um, <laughs> because I just can't get over what you're doing with these embossing folders? I'm one of the Sanderson sisters. Who's um, the, who are the Sanderson sisters? Hocus Pocus. Oh, yes, the new ones. Have you seen it? Uh, I have, yeah. Do you like it? It's a bit scary according it to Charlotte. It is a bit scary, but I like it. Um, um, I, haven't yet, well, I, might watch it, I might watch it on Monday. Yeah, I like it. It's on All every right. day in Johnny's house, apparently. Pop around there and watch it. So, you see, all I'm doing is the same technique on each one of the petals. So, in answer, no, I'm not a witch or a magician no. or any of those things. And I'm not an artist. I'm a crafter. The, uh, it's purely the quality of the product, the quality of our aqua marker, the quality of the folder. And I promise you, you'll get these same results. And everybody on Academy, who's been following on Academy of Colour says, I was terrified of watercolouring and it's my favourite thing to do now. Um, it, it really is just having confidence and not being scared and not being overcritical of yourself because watercolour isn't a perfect medium. It is very painterly and very art. And look, you can wet a leaf with some water, wet a petal with some water, pick up a tiny bit of colour with your aqua marker, trace the centre of that petal, clean your brush, 
This is all I'm doing. And then with a, some water on a brush, spread that out. And now anybody can do that. You can do that, Joe. Everybody can. And it's giving that lovely pastel look and feel to the lily, but it's making it darker in the centres where they would be and letting the pastel all move naturally. So it's feeling like a watercoloured painting. And it's very, very simple for you to do. And you can absolutely do this at home, no problem at all. I said I wasn't going to do the full lily. I'm enjoying this, so I've getting a bit carried away and it's nearly finished. So it's really gorgeous. 60% um, of that showstopper is gone now, Leanne. 60%, there are loads of you with it in your basket still at the moment. That's 60% gone is the stock that has checked out and confirmed their order. So it is really, really busy. We're gonna have enough to last to the end of this show. Absolutely, we will. Uh, but make sure you're snapping up. Make sure you're getting it whilst that Leanne 12 code is still there. Leanne's made the executive decision that it's gonna have to stay now until the end of the day, which I think is, uh, it's very sensible and wise, it's but fair. who knows? Whilst it's there, take advantage of it. It wouldn't have been fair to anybody joining us later, Joe, um, in the day, who maybe couldn't make it this morning. So I think, you know, we made a mistake by leaving it live this morning, by not getting it down when we should have got it down. That's our fault, and no need to punish everybody at home. Absolutely. That's what I think. I think you're right. You're always right. Of course I am. Not very often I'm wrong. I tell everybody this oh, in the office all often, the time. ever? Well, yes. I mean, I have been wrong occasionally. Have you? Well, I mean, I can't remember last. <laughs> no, I am, occasionally. Now and again, maybe. Okay, you see, I'm just having a lovely time now, Joe, and I need to probably stop and show you something else, but um, I've only got one petal left and then the centre. So actually, what you can see as well, how quick it is, because I'm doing the full floral with this lily, um, and I'm doing the same thing on every single petal. Wetting the petal first, adding the colour in the centre, cleaning and drying my brush, then just using the water that I used to wet the petal first to moisten it, just use that to do the watercolour out and that starts to really pop lovely, doesn't it? And I'm going to just give that a dry now before we do the next piece. Um, very, very busy. Uh, Silka says, love this lily. Um, also, uh, who else we got here? Uh, squeak, squeak, that's an imposter that does... Squeak, squeak, that's an imposter that does not squeak. Oh. I don't get that. Squeak, squeak, that's an imposter that does not squeak. Oh, the pen's an imposter, the one that didn't squeak. Oh, I get it, sorry. Uh, I was being a bit vacant-minded there. Vicky says the embossing folders are amazing. Uh, this is Laurie's first birthday order this week. Whoa, 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 I got a brand new combo now. I don't know what was going on there. What an order it is to start with is what I was going to say. I agree. And, you know, call me biased. I think the best. Yeah, absolutely. I really do love it. I was so excited for this product to launch and for you to see them. I've, you know, I mean, obviously we designed these um, more than 10 months ago. Mm. And so I've known about them coming, haven't been able to use them or play with them. How, imagine how torturous that is. Uh, and I know how fabulous the product is when it's on its way and haven't been able to do that. But, you know, now that they're launched, we can and you can use them. Um, how long can that colour sit on the glass mat, Alicia Ross? Forever. So if you've got it on a piece of acetate, put the piece of acetate away, come back in three weeks and reactivate it with water. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. so you never need to clean it up and move it. It Brilliant. will just reactivate. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to use a bit of crimson and a bit of sunset. It's got that busy, my twitchy eyes back again, Leanne. Really? Yeah, that's a barometer on how busy we are. Twitchy eyes. It's really going for it now. It's very twitchy. So I'm just doing the little, what are they called, Joe? Do you know? The stamens. Is that what it is? I think the so. The things that dye your yellow when you touch oh, them. Oh, the things that are the bane of my life. Yeah, those things. Do you cut yours out? I do, but sometimes I forget, Leanne. Mm. And I also think they smell better with them in. I do. I don't um, cut mine so out. So I do cut them out, but I don't cut them out immediately. I don't cut them out until I've had them for about a week. So I wait until I think they could be due to drop, and then I'll cut them out. Okay. But the problem is if you don't get them out quick enough and then you try to move them in order to cut them out and you're too late, then they're everywhere. It's a nightmare. It is. But, you know, if you get them on your clothes, which I often do, 
A little bit of, just don't rub it in, a little bit of sellotape on it, very, very gently removes it from your clothes without staining. Does it? Yeah, a tiny bit of sellotape, just very gently. Oh. A little bit of low tack tape, you get that off. Oh, I'm so happy you've told me that, I didn't know that. Mm. Right, I'm going to clean that off there, because now we're going to put a little bit of a background in. Uh, and the background going in is going to be exactly as we did in the previous demonstration, where I do the water up to... Now, what I haven't done, you will have noticed, and I'm not doing it for speed, and I'm hoping it doesn't all go peat tong, is I haven't dried it with a heat gun. OK. Because I'm just trying to get the whole floral piece done for you so that you can see what it looks like. Oh, I'm going to have to. I can see it. It's already going into the petal. Nope. I'm not risking it, Joe. Not risking I'm it for a biscuit. I'm going to do as I say, not as I do. I'm going to dry it quick. Apparently, uh, Joe, look da you look dapper in your plaid and T-shirt. Thank you very much. Uh, great colours on you. Cheers, Pamela. Stephanie says, turning on the big TV so I can see these huge, she says in capitals. Um, uh, any questions you've got about anything in the show, you can, of course, get them into me. Remember myself and Leanna back as well with that craft vault. This evening in the UK, 6pm here in the UK, 1 o'clock on the East Coast. 10 a.m. if you are across on the West Coast. Everything is there now live under the Shop the Day button. So you can go over there and grab a hold of it. Ooh. And then because we've got the water down, when I've now traced around it, we can add our painterly water background. And this is where you'll start to see the petals of the lily pop out with the colouring so we didn't have necessarily any definition on the edge of the petals and you don't want that because they're white but by adding this background in that immediately makes that petal jump from the page can you see that awesome so you just trace with your water why do pens colour. squeak nonna wants to know she says i have some that squeak on paper too and i can't stand the sound oh do you know if i knew the answer to that i'd be a millionaire yeah, I don't know. I realised I wasn't colouring hard enough with my alcohol markers when they didn't squeak. Now I press a bit harder and they squeak. Yeah, you are getting good colour down when, you, when they squeak. Sometimes you can be a bit too light-handed and so you're just tickling the card surface rather than yes. um, actually getting the colour down. Um, Marcia says, watching these shows makes me want to get my watercolours out. Do it, Marcia. That looks amazing. OK, so we've got that lovely light kind of wash in the background. You could do a little bit of your floor bleaching if you wanted to, but you can see how your lily is starting to pop out. I'm going to give that one more quick dry and then one final little thing. Okie doke. Uh, don't forget, uh, over 55% now of this showstopper has gone. Uh, you will need to be quick if you want it. I'll give you an opportunity to check out shortly. Lots of you with it in your basket at the moment. Mary Jones says, I wasn't going to buy any more, Leanne. The code's still there. Another word today. Brilliant idea of using glycerine without pens. Can't wait for these 3D embossing folders to arrive to try it. Loads of you, hundreds of you going now uh, for these brand new embossing folders. They are absolutely awesome. OK, and then just to pick up the tiny little um, areas, I've dried that and it's looking great, but there's all these tiny little embossed areas in here which I want to pop. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of pink ink and then just very slightly tickle. Nice. Oh, that really transforms it, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. Tickled pink. And that makes them stand out. You just need a tiny little bit. Yeah, I think that makes all the difference. There we go. And we're done. So you can watercolour with your aqua markers in that bundle. A full lily, if that's what you'd like to do. Matte and layer it up. Pop it onto a card and you're sorted. Absolutely delightful, aren't they? They really, really are a gorgeous gorgeous set of embossing folders let me just share with you the details on the uh, gilding waxes that we have got brilliant deal here uh, for you saves you 16 pounds or 22 dollars you've got all the different colors there for you so you've got in here the king gold which is this one just here uh, you will also get as well the antique gold this next one here is the renaissance you've then got the empire gold which is that one and then there's also the silver in there for you too. Brilliant, brilliant deal on those. Add those in with your embossing folders. You get 12% off, of course, as well. Because you've got Leanne's amazing... Uh, 
discount code for you. The ink pads also available. Water reactors on the show. A nine piece collection. Uh, again, you'd get 12% off of these if they're in a, si a basket over 60 pounds or $60. You've got Lagoon. You've also got Amphrasite, Crush Velvet, Fuchsia. Now this one here is the Grasshopper. You've got Green Topaz, Honey Pot, Pale Fig, and you've also got the Plum Jam in there as well. 41.50 or 53.50 is your price on those. Right, tape pens. Got that 12 pack of tape pens available still for you as well. If you want to avoid ever running out again, then this is the deal for you really, isn't it? All 12 of them there, 17.88 or 31. 38 is your saving there on those which is brilliant considering that that is core product so make sure you're grabbing those and getting them checked out uh, right the winner is the winner is it is it's in here somewhere <laughs> it's cork 38 it's uh sue hints Seamless Sue. Uh, Sue Hints uh, there, you are the winner on YouTube. You're going in the bucket and you need to email us please, prizes at craftscompanion.com and we will send you a £25 goodie bag and a £25 voucher, but you've now got to make sure you're watching tomorrow evening, so it's 6pm in the UK, 1 o'clock on the East Coast, because we will make that grand prize draw. £250 worth of goodies and a £250 voucher will be winging its way out to someone. Leanne, do you think we've got time to squeeze one more concept in before Absolutely. the end? Brilliant. So what I thought I'd do, I've got a pre-embossed and I've got a, I've got a piece embossed already, so rather than emboss, I'm just going to use the bit that I've got. Um, and I'm using some pink and a bit more of that. That one doesn't squeak either. We don't trust that one anymore. And a little bit of purple. That's a good one. Um, and I've got some yellow in there. So we're just going to see how we're just going to see what happens. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, this one isn't planned, so this is off the hoof. Now, what I thought I'd show you is I've been working on the embossed side all the time up to now on the piece which is the, you would say, the correct side. Right. I thought, let's turn it over and work on the incorrect side. Let's Amazing. work on the deboss side and see what happens. And actually, I've done this before with 3D folders, and I really love the result because what this does, this is where it feels witchy and magic. So I am going to flood a petal with water. So right. this is more than prepping. This is more than priming the card, as I was doing before. So there's quite a pool of water in there. Obviously, it's not going to run out all over the desk. So when I say a pool, use that sparingly, if that makes sense. But there's yeah. more water in there than average. It's dripping. It's, yeah, kind of. And so that's in there. And then what you do is you take the colour that you want to paint with. And let's say I want to go with purple. And you need a dampish brush. Pick up the purple. Drop the colour in. Oh, and it does this magic kind of mixing effect. Magic. Where it starts to mix into the water. And so you just decide where you want that to go. You can add more in by drying your brush and adding in more. And you actually want all of the, you want those little watermarks and swirls in there. That's what's going to give you the beautiful texture. So you see, I'm able to go right round the tip, the end of that petal because it's acting like a pool, um, keeping the colour contained Amazing. in that petal. It's created a well. That's the word I'm looking for. It's created a well. So once you've done that and you want to start mixing some new colours, then you go and pick that up. So I'm picking up the yellow here and pop that in alongside. And it will mix a new colour, but it will also start to give you the shade on the petal by just popping it in. If you want it a little bit more intense, you can pick up a little bit of the orange. You can dilute that out by spreading it in at that side and then fill the well with the yellow that's left and it will do the mixing and blending for you in the well of the petal uh, with that water and when you're happy with how it looks stop and blast it amazing uh, i'll be watching this show many times over says tess uh, Sue says she can't really record her name as the winner. Oh, you're a winner, baby. Don't worry about that. And uh, Leanne, uh, Sherry says, Leanne, another amazing demo. It's beautiful. Thank you for sharing your talent with us. There you are. What a lovely comment. Remember, you can watch this show back anytime you like. Also, go and have a look back at some of Leanne's watercolour 
Colour Me Happies. Do you remember the ones we did with that wonderful artist whose name now escapes me? I was just thinking about it. Uh, Benita. Benita, that's it. Uh, they were they were amazing, weren't they, they were, Leanne? Absolutely. You can go back and watch those any time you like. I painted a narwhal from scratch. You did, didn't you? Yeah. Something hilarious happened, and I can't remember what. It did, and we couldn't show it. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just leave it at that. I can't remember. It'll come to me, I'm sure. I'll remind you later. Thank you. So you see, all I'm doing is dropping in. I've done a pool again, and I'm just dropping in the colour, and I want this to be very loose and very paintly. I do not want it to look perfect, because when I build them up, that's when it'll look really, really um, fabulous. Uh, and just trust the process, Joe, is what I would say. Just trust the process, and don't worry about it being perfect. Don't put pressure on yourself because it's going to look kind of really, I want to say mixed media, you know, as if you've intended it to look like this, but you've just let the water do the work for you. So I've filled that well in there. Dry it, keep drying them, because if you don't dry it, the colours will continue to move around in that well of water you've created, and then it won't dye the cardstock. I'll do this one up here. We'll try and get two or three beside each other, and then... You see, I haven't even cleaned my brush properly on this one. I've got like a pale yellow going in. It doesn't really matter because you're using all the colours beside each other anyway. Pick up your colour, drop it in. It'll do the mixing for you in the well of water you've created. What are you laughing at, Charlotte? Oh, Charlotte's tummy's making this. I thought she was laughing. I thought she was laughing at how zoned out I was at your uh, <laughs> cone. Because I'm telling you what, if you could see me, I literally look like, I look like a dog watching the washing machine. I do. <laughs> Just completely zoned out. It's amazing. OK, so we're going to put that there. And then we're going to add a little bit of colour. And I just need to get a bit of colour on a few of these petals, because then I want to show you what we'll do and what happens. It looks like you're using a very light touch, says Stephanie. Very, very light touch. I'm hardly touching it at all. I'm letting the wells of water and the little bits of colour that I'm picking up do all the work for me. And when I'm happy with how it looks, just stop and dry it again. And you want it to look this random, really kind of mixed in together, random result. Remember what I said before, trust the process. I probably haven't got time to do the whole flower. I've got time to do another petal. Oh, yeah, absolutely. OK, we'll do this petal here. You've just got to remember to make sure you're checking out your baskets while you're watching because it is absolutely in meltdown over on the website at the moment. It's very Good. tropical, this one, isn't it? Yes, it is. Or was this the... What, was this the poinsettia? Uh, this is the Helleborus. The hel hel I struggle with that one. Helleborus. I have to have a run-up at it when I say it. I can't just drop it that word into conversation, Leanne. Can you not? No, you have to think I need about a good it. thought process behind it. Okay. So just you're letting the pool of water do the work for you. You're not worrying. You're just plonking the colour in and not worrying about where it goes. For example, look at that little trace down there. I'm just leaving it because that's obviously where it wants to go. So it's doing its own natural thing. I'm going to try and do two petals at the same time here so I can show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, so then we'll drop in. Should we try a little bit of the orange in? Why not? A bit of the yellow. Let's mix a new colour. Cool. Right in here. It looks like a sweet, doesn't it? That's what it reminds me of. I like a fruit What's salad. What's the one I'm thinking of? Fruit, fruit salad. salad, that's it. Oh, I love those. I Nightmare like. for you filling some. Yeah, definitely got to pull a tooth out with them. Mm. They came with those licorice ones, usually. You got them in a mixed bag. Oh, well, I had a disaster and... with the Mars bar yesterday, uh, yeah. Leanne. Did you? Well, yeah. Did I not tell you? No. Oh, I'll tell you after the show. Uh, it was about teeth, by the way. I was thinking, oh, this sounds ominous. Uh, yeah, I pulled one of the fillings off, like one of the little, more little tooth with a, um, with, a, with a very cold Mars bar oh, from the vending machine. Nice nightmare. <laughs> nightmare. Uh, right, so once you've done that, Joe, you're going to I'm going to give it a really good dry now. And I'm not okay, going to okay. do the full flower because I think it'd be nice to have a look at some of the samples as well. So we'll leave that there and then I'll show you the next bit and then you know what you're doing. Okay? Amazing.
Let me just run you back through the designs you're getting then whilst Leanne's trying that. So you've got then the Regal Rose, which is this one just here. Uh, absolutely awesome. Then you have the Pretty Peony. That one there is a lovely Lily. The Enchanting Echinacea. Heavenly Helleborus and the Precious Poinsettia. They are the six brand new designs. And then you choose whether you want to go for, everyone's going for the Showstopper in the show. So the Showstopper then, again, is all four packs of the Aquas. So you've got the Primary, you've also got the Nature, the Floral, the Essentials, and then also the overlay too. Uh, and remember, 69.78, as a platinum member with that code, and that is getting you over 140 pounds, 198 dollars worth of product. It really is a showstopper, this one, Leanne, isn't it? It really is, Joel. I'm just finishing a little bit off here by putting a bit of intense pink down the bottom. It is a showstopper, but it's, I promise you, hands down the set of folders you will get the most use out of for all occasions i mean imagine doing a beautiful set of wedding invitations with one of those florals as the central piece it would be amazing right that's where i'm leaving it i keep saying that I keep adding a bit more dry it okay then what you're going to do is exactly as we've done before joe so what you'll get the feel of is none of these technique techniques really change it's just once you've marked oh Ignore. Oh, that was handy. That was right. No, oh, ignore that. Bit. Very that close. You once nearly, you, nearly. I nearly. don't think you'd even see that there if you didn't know. Once you've mastered one of the techniques, you can do them all. So I am getting my uh, Harmony Water Reactive, and this time I've got the bright orange with my blending tool. And this time I'm going to pick up the deboss areas, and you get a more subtle result. But what it does is because it's a similar colour to the colours that have mixed, it ties that all in together. Um, I'm gonna go and get the red, and then if I do the background, you'll see how that now starts to feel like it was always meant to be. And this is what I mean about, it doesn't have to be too perfect. It doesn't have to be too finished. Sometimes when it looks really quite painterly in there, that starts to look incredible as a piece of, you know, real artwork, Joe. Um, and then if I go to the bright fuchsia, and I'm just tickling over the top. That's picking up those deeper areas. And you're going to end up with a deeper coloured background than you have the where you've dropped your ink. And you can build up as much of that as you like. And then in those little wells, I'd go back in with my gold marker. And I'd fill in those little wells with gold. Here we are. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is, and I would do another little dry of it, but because I'm on the debossed side now, I can take this fine gold marker and use the well that has embossed with the flower as a line to push up against. And when I use it as a line to push up against... Ah, oh, clever. So it's kind of like a four heat emboss and you get that lovely gold look and feel all the way around looks like you've hand drawn it you've got the watercolor inside you've got that depth with the emboss building up the background and it starts to look i mean it's just lovely i love doing this and there we go and that's with your gold marker and you're just pushing it up pushing it up against the well because you're in the they're in the depress, not the you know, in deboss rather than the emboss. Yes. And then you can see as that's built up, look how I mean imagine that whole floral, if we do that Amazing. as a section like that, when it's matte and laid, it'll look absolutely lovely and you've got that gold outline in there. It looks great. There's so many different ways you can use these, Joe. You will be never without something to do with them and every single thing will look different. They're amazing. Absolutely incredible. Another incredible result. It really is. Two thirds of the stock of that showstopper has gone. So remember, I will just remind you one last time. It's super busy over on the website. Loads of you with this in your basket at the moment. So you're getting the Regal Rose. You will also get the Pretty Peony. This one here is a lovely Lily. The um, Enchanting Echinacea. The Heavenly Helleborus and the Precious Poinsettia. They are the ones that you are going to receive in there, which is delightful. Um, and then of course, in the Showstopper, which is what everyone is going for at the moment, this is what you are getting. So you're gonna get the primary uh, Aquapens, you're also gonna get the Nature, 
the floral and the essentials and also the clear overlay as well. There is another uh, bundle available if you just want a smaller bundle uh, you can go for the six new folders and get the aqua markers for free however the value is the best when you get absolutely everything together as that showstopper. I'll change the details back to the showstopper for you because when you're going for the showstopper the combined value on the showstopper is £140 or $198 however uh, the platinum price today is $79.20 or $95.20, but actually to get £140 worth today, you can get it for $69.70. All you need to do is just use code LEAN12, and in the US, you'd get as a platinum member today, $198 worth of product comes to $83.78 in the US. It's an unbelievable deal. It really, really is. I know Leanne wants to show us a few other things we can do with these before uh, we come to the end of the show. Absolutely, because I just think the design team have loved, loved, loved working with these and there are so many beautiful examples. We looked, it feels like forever ago, doesn't it? We looked at doing that right at the top of the show, um, so you couldn't be able to do that yourself. This is the same, but with an alcohol marker. We've got that beautiful colouring that we did there, which was with illustrators. We did that and you absolutely loved it. That was this one where the colour just absolutely pops out. Um, you just bend a couple of colours there if you want with your Harmony Water Reactives. You can uh, fussy cut and lay it up onto your mirror card with that poinsettia coloured with alcohol markers. Looks incredible. Use the background technique to make the white look white by adding that bright blue in. Just use a couple of colours and blend them. Put a little bit of water splash on there you don't have to use your alcohol markers again and make it really bright and vibrant use the designs and create a box with them do really soft water coloring we've looked at that use the center of the image and do a spotlight cut out the center and layer it up um, do your dimensional cards by using your alcohol markers just on a piece of pale pink cardstock a little bit of light purple inking over the top cut it into four make a beautiful topper Make a full-on beautiful background with your alcohol markers. You can fussy cut as well. Uh, this has been fussy cut out to make a topper on that card, that flower that I've just been using. Embossed, coloured, cut out with a craft knife. Cut out sections and decoupage it up. So you can see we've decoupaged sections there. I mean, the possibilities are endless. And of course, this I love to show you. Very light inking all around the outside mm. makes that peony come to light in the center and there is so so much more you could do with them possibilities are endless and i absolutely guarantee you you will love this set of folders it'll be the set of folders you've used the most uh, it really really will i uh, remember as well you've got free gifts galore very very busy on that now at the moment do not forget to check out your baskets remember as well for the free gifts that you are getting because of course your daily free gift uh being uh, this one here which is your um your shadow sentiments of course are your daily free gift at the moment let me just bring those in there for you uh so there you are we've then also got that's when you're spending 10 then also when you're spending 50 you'll get the paper pad along with the uh, 10 pound voucher and when you're spending a hundred dollars or pounds you will get the two um glitter markers in there are they are glitter markers aren't they i keep calling they the wrong glitter. word why do i keep calling the wrong word i don't know glitter markers that's what they are uh, in exclusive colors as well i will add and the other brilliant thing about that is that uh, you'll get a 20 pound voucher to use with that too leanne it's been an amazing been launch gorgeous, hasn't, it? hasn't it really fantastic and of course we've got that amazing craft vault show to look Can't to wait. a little bit later it's going to be fast and furious it will i'm really looking forward to it loads of deals and of course wasn't planned but you're going to have leanne 12 in the craft vault. oh you are they're going to be they're going to be annoyed with you tomorrow or on monday actually don't worry about it until monday when everyone comes back in all the deals are live for the craft vault you can shop ahead uh, right now over on the website so get over there shop ahead we're going to go and get some dinner and have a bit of a natter and yeah. we'll see you back here won't we in a couple yeah, of hours couple 6 p.m hours. in the uk one o'clock east coast see you then take care